Alright, hello guys. We uh, jumped right into this battle here. So, um, let me know your thoughts and comments down below on the series so far as a whole, what you guys have been thinking of it. Um, so, okay, now we got the Psychic Seed, his special defense raised. I'm not too worried about his special defense or anything from this Mandibuzz, because most likely it is, well, yeah, I'm just not very worried about it. I'm going to go for a Poison Jab into this Lele, and I think I'm going to go for a Protect. Uh, I know it will probably switch out, seeing as, you know, the Tapu Lele's Psychic Surge is not out anymore, so it might switch out and... Boy, 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 it is cold. It is cold down here. <laughs> oh, boy. So, pretty much what's going on here at the moment is we have to wait for this person to decide what it's going to do. Ew. Lele is just going for the protect. Well, I'm going for the protect as well. Um, I don't want to bring in Porygon yet, just for the sole fact, Snarl, okay, um, I think, how am I going to do this, my special attack fell, I'm faster than that Lele, um, I could go for a knockoff to see what it has, but I'm not going to risk it, so I think I could go for a Moonblast, but it wants me gone. Um, I think I'm going to switch out the Feeny for Porygon 2. And I know how dumb that sounds, alright? But the Feeny needs to stay alive for that Mandibuzz. I have a feeling that it's going to be needed. Alright. So Porygon 2 is now coming out. And download, attack, yep, attack rose. Snarl, Mock Avoids. Um, now, my special attack did fall. It's not going to affect that Kartana. It's probably in an Assault Vest one, so what I'm going to do is I think I'm going to go for a knockoff. And I could go for a Thunderbolt, but I think Trick Room is my best option here. I know that it would probably go for another Snarl. Or it's going to go for like a Foul Play and a Sacred Sword, but I Porygon should be able to live a Sacred Sword. So I'm not too worried, unless if it's like a Life Orb variant or a Specs variant of Kratana, which I have not really seen much of those. It's usually just been Coco that runs the Specs or the Life Orb from what I've been seeing. So I guess um, we got to make for him to make a move. Sacred Sword. Yeah, I should be able to live that. And anything that Mandibuzz throws at me, I should be able to live. Yep, knew it. So, getting that knockoff on that Kartana. Choice Scarf. Trick Room's going up. Okay. Now, I feel like Mandibuzz is probably going to be slower than me. Um... Hmm, I think I'll go for a knockoff here on that Kartana in case it switches out. I'm gonna go for a recover. It, now is the best time. I don't know if that Mandibuzz is... That Mandibuzz, I think, is slower than me. So that's kind of the problem here. So... I guess in the line of... Muck is going for knockoff again. Okay, that doesn't do as much as the last time. But Thunderbolt could probably take it out. His scarf is gone. It's going for foul play, probably into the Porygon too. No, into the mock. Well, that's not going to do as much. Smart Strike. Well, that shouldn't do very much. Scratch that. It actually did more than what I was expecting. All right. Um. So I guess. I could go for a Poison Jab into the Mandibuzz, seeing as it is Stab. Thunderbolt. No, uh, actually... I'm going to double into that Kurtana. It was Scarfed. So it shouldn't have anything for, like, defense or anything. 
And I don't think it's going to switch out either. Oh, it actually did. Okay, well, something's getting knocked off, which is Arcanine. Which, if we see an item fly off this Pokemon, Intimidate. Alright, if we see an item fly off this Pokemon, then we know it's going to be that weird um, Z-Crystal variant. Assault Fest. Okay. And the Thunderbolt. Mandibuzz is going for Snarl. Okay. Um, I don't have to worry about the whole knocking off much anymore. Miss disappeared from the battlefield. Alright. Um, and we're still under Trick Room, I feel like, right? Two turns of Trick Room. So, I think I'm going to go for a Poison Jab into the Arcanine. And I want to try to get a recover off in this Porygon 2, because now that I've revealed Thunderbolt, he might think Porygon 2 is a threat. So, yeah, I'm surprised uh, Mandibuzz. Like, I did a practice round before, and there was a Mandibuzz before this. So, two Mandibuzz in a row is... I don't know if Mandibuzz is actually picking up in popularity, or what's been going on with it, but, uh... You know, poison or something, maybe? There we go. There we go. Porygon 2 is going for recover. Um, I don't know if it's going to go for like a Flare Blitz or something, but I should be able to handle a Flare Blitz now. Muck avoids the Snarl, which I really... It doesn't even matter at this point. Special attack fell. Arcanine's going for the Bulldoze. Bulldoze? This thing has Bulldoze too? Is that like becoming a thing? Okay, so... Um, poison... I don't think he'll go for another Bulldoze. Um, I could go for a Shadow Sneak, but I don't think that's going to kill. I think I'll just go for another knockoff in case he wants to bring in that Cortana. Just in case. Um, I could bring out Sylvalli. Yeah, I think I will bring in the Sylvalli. Because then I could switch out my Mach and try to get that Z-Parting shot off and heal my muck up again. So I feel like that's going to be my best option. Knock off, back into Cortana. Yep, called it. Had a feeling. Alright, so knock off is going to be a thing here. Okay, foul play. Into my Soul Valley. Twisted Dimensions return to normal. Um... I think I'm gonna... <clears throat> How am I gonna do this here? I'm gonna go for a Shadow Sneak on that Cortana. I'm gonna... Actually, why go for the Shadow Sneak? When I can go for a knockoff. But then I'll try to get this Z-Parting shot off. Well, maybe not. Yeah, I think I'll just go in for the attack. Yeah, I feel like that's my best bet. Because he will try to go after the Sylvalli. Unless if he's, like, really worried about Mach. But... Smart strike. Into the Mach. Okay. Now, Mach should be able to live. Whatever attack is going to be coming from this, uh... What, whatever you call it. Unless if I get, like, critted? He really does not like that Mach. Going for another knockoff. Ain't gonna do much. But I'm okay with this. I have a plan. I have a very good plan. Mind you, my Sylvalli does have Ice Beam and Thunderbolt too. But I feel like this muck is gonna be more important. Because... What did he bring in? The Lele. See, that's what he wants it gone for. Okay. So... I'm gonna do a switch here. I'm gonna switch into the Feeny. And then I'm gonna go for a Z parting shot. Because I would lower attack and special attack into that Lele. Cripple it a little bit. So Valley, I feel like, should be able to live. Live a Feeny attack. Depending. 
Yeah, because now that the uh, Psychic Surge is gone, he's going for Psychic. Oh, well, maybe not at that. Oh, yep. And... Is the life warped? Alright. So now... We are bringing... Muck back. I'm bringing the Muck back. Okay. <laughs> oh boy. Okay, now we're gonna bring the muck back in. So Valley is a little bit crippled at the moment. But this muck. Um. Because the Cortana's gone. And he only has three Pokemon left. Arcanine is one of the last ones. Foul play. Into the Feeny. Alright, um... So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna go for a Protect. And... Poison Jab. Actually, I think I might go for a knockoff just in case, uh... Nah, Poison Jab is probably better. Because then I got that Shadow Sneak too. But the Lele might just... Protect. Alright. Now, Feeny's going for the Protect, but the question is, is it really going to be going for the Feeny? Or, for <laughs> yeah, for the Feeny. There we go. But, uh, oh, that really didn't do, that didn't do much to Mach. Now, it might switch out. Which, if it does, I'm cool with. Um, I think I'm going to soak the Mandibuzz. Just so it doesn't get stabbed on any of its moves anymore. And it might actually... Yeah, because he's going to bring the Arcanine back in. So, the Intimidate. But he won't be able to kill... He won't be able to kill Feeny at all. The Soak... The Soak is going to come in handy because my Soul Valley does have Thunderbolt along with it too. Alright. And I'm probably gonna end up switching Muck out here. I feel like that's probably my best option. Because it's gonna go for a protect again. So I can go for a protect on Feeny. And he can't he can't switch out that uh Yeah, you know, I was gonna say he can't switch the Mandibuzz out anymore. So I think I'm going to go for a Protect here. And I'm going to do a switch. My Soul Valley is pretty much almost dead. And I know that he really wants that dead. So... I feel like this is going to be... My Soul Valley should die. At least that's what I'm thinking. Moonblast. Yup. Had a feeling. Woohoo! Cause tonight's gonna be a. Uh, eh. <laughs> Alright, now I'm bringing Muck back in. No more Intimidate to hold me back. Um. I think I will switch out my Feeny here, though. Just to try to get a chance of getting my. Getting my other things kind of situated. I'm gonna just go into the Feeny again, or the Lele, because it might not protect. I'm not sure, but it might try to throw me off, and at this point, it's okay if it protects. I should be fine. Download, special attack, attack. Okay. Lele is going for protect. Alright, now I'm okay with it. Mandibuzz is going for Snarl, Porygon 2 avoids. That's actually pretty good. So, there's no more switching out that Lele can do. So, that is perfect. My attack is back up to normal again. I'm gonna do a switch into the Feeny. And I'm gonna do a Poison Jab into the Lele. And his timer is running out too. It's at like 450. I feel like I'm... like... maybe? So... Alright. Feeny's coming back and resetting this. Alright, Miss Swirls around the opponent. 
Moonblast into the Mach. Which, that did quite a bit of damage. Foul play, probably into the Mach. That ain't gonna do so much. And now that the Misty terrain is, uh, gone, or the Psychic terrain is gone, oh, well, that killed anyways, so... And he can't switch out of his Mandibuzz, so he's kind of... He's left alone. Um, I think I'm gonna go for a Moonblast here. And I'm gonna go for a Poison Jab. So, match was forfeited. Alright guys, that is one win for us, because we are awesome. Everything is awesome. I like that song. It's a good song. Alright, um, communicating please wait. Um, no, we won't save the battle. There's no point. Uh, continue battling. Alright, so we got one more match ahead of us, guys. Only for... Um... Let's do Legendary Pokemon. Yeah, let's do Legendary Pokemon. Alright. Labras from Mexico. Okay, so... Um... This is an interesting team. Interesting team. Um... We got Mimikyu, Vikavolt, Persian, Gigalith, Feeny and Garchomp. So, a lot of my Pokemon are weak to these kind of Pokemon. Um, I don't want to bring Sylvali in front. I think I'm going to go for the Feeny Cartana route. Um, hmm. Feeny Cartana. What else does he get? He has that Mimikyu. I feel like Porygon 2 could be a decent option. So we'll bring that. We do have the Sil Valley with Flamethrower and the Ice Beam and Thunderbolt. Communication with the other trainer was interrupted. So maybe they left? That's weird. That they just left like that. Maybe their DS died? Okay, guys, uh, we're gonna do a quick, oh, we'll, gi we'll give it a sec before we give it a cut, depending on how long this takes. Okay, we'll do the Guardian Deity music, because I need to guard my wins and losses from e equaling the same route. Okay, searching for opposing trainer. Okay, guys, well, I'll be seeing you in a second. Here we go. He wait from Japan. Okay, I know this strategy. Um Okay, so we have the Oran Guru, Wishy Washy, Gengar, which is something that I, c I have not seen in a while. Um Incineroar, Coco and Gastrodon. Okay, so automatically what I am thinking is um Oran Guru is probably going to go in first. And if that doesn't happen, I need something that could take care of that wishy-washy. So, Gartana. And... There might be an Earth Power in on that Gastrodon 2. So, Porygon 2 has Thunderbolt and Tri-Attack. Thunderbolt will be decent against that wishy-washy. Unless if I want to go the Valley route, I have Flamethrower. Got Ice Beam and Thunderbolt. But I do have Parting Shot. Parting Shot may actually be useful. So, um, I know Feeny's coming. And do I want Porygon 2? Or do I want the Sylvalli? Porygon 2 does have that chance to actually inflict status, but Sylvalli might be the better option. Well, yeah, Soul Valley. 
I do have that healing factor for that, healing my Pokemon all the way up to full health, depending on if I can get it to work. It's kind of weird. It's like, you need to kind of know what you're up against. And Wishiwashi is something that I haven't really faced, but I know a Telepathy or a Guru mixed with Wishiwashi is pretty prominent. Gengar and Oranguru. Okay. So, there's a chance that this Gengar is going to have Will-O-Wisp. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go for a knockoff into the Oranguru. And I'm going to do a switch. Well, I can't really switch into Feeny now, can I? Um, we'll do a knockoff into the Gengar. Yeah, you know what? We'll, we'll do knockoff into the Gengar. I might have to switch, but... And the Gengar is probably going to be faster than me. So we'll go into the Soul Valley. Yeah, this was a pretty interesting lead matchup here. I know some of my Pokemon are faster. And he's probably going to get Trick Room up for the Wishiwashi. Is that... Was that supposed to go for... Cartana spot? I feel like it was supposed to go after Cartana. Z Destiny Bond. Okay, we'll knock off. No kill. Smart. Knock off is disabled. Gengar fainted. Muck's going with him. And Trick Room is coming up. So wishy-washy is going to be the problem. Um, Orin Guru, I'm not exactly sure what it can do. I could bring in the Cartana. I know Trick Room is up, but how am I supposed to stall it? I think I will bring it in. I my Cartana is a little bit slower. Still go last, mind you. But I Gastrodon. Okay, so the Gastrodon might go for a Protect. If it's an Earth Power, I should be able to live. Um, I want to go for a Flamethrower. Or... There's no point of going for that Z Parting Shot. I think I'll go for an Ice Beam into that Oranguru. Maybe just for that small chance of getting a Freeze. Cartop. Depending on what item this Gastrodon has on it, most of them run berries, but I should be able to live an Earth Power from Gastrodon, seeing as I have the Assault Vest, and I'm specially defensive. So, withdraws Orin Guru, Wishy Washy comes in, I'm going for the Storm Drain, and it's a shiny Wishy Washy. You know, this is a pretty interesting team composition. I, I will give it that. Gastrodon's going for the Protect. Ice Beam. Now if I'm lucky enough to get a Freeze. Not very effective. Leaf Blade. Alright, I feel like I shouldn't go for that... You know what? I really should go for that Wishy Washy. No, actually. I should go for that Gastrodon. I'm gonna get... I'm gonna get a Thunderbolt into this Wishy Washy. Because if I manage, if I can manage that I live, then I should be alright. So it seems like the main center of this team happens to be that Wishy Washy. Cartana didn't take that very well. Oh, it was a crit on Cartana. Ice Beam as well. I should be able to live. Oh, I was expecting me to live that. Oh, it's life orbed. What? <laughs> life orbed. Like a paralysis or something? Come on. Now, all I have left is Feeny. Um. Hmm. Misty Surge is up. Special defense is being raised. So. I think I'm just going to go for a Moon Blast and get that Thunderbolt off on the Wishy Washy. 
Something tells me the wishy-washy might end up surfing again. Special or special attack is raising. I already know I lost this one, so it's really it's just gonna be hard to get in. Not very effective on the Feeny. Sludge bomb onto the Feeny. That's gonna kill. Yep. I'm gonna forfeit this one, guys. But, wow. That team was just centered around the wishy-washy, though. Alright guys, without further ado, I'm going to end it off for this episode. Uh, I'm not very happy. I'm not very happy. So, if you guys liked what you saw, make sure to leave a like or a comment down below. Always greatly appreciated. And I will be seeing you guys in tomorrow's episode of our VGCs of Things. Have a good one!